So today we had an unboxing, have an unboxing of a, a Rolex model um, 1601. This is purchased from Bob's Watches. They're pretty uh, an extremely reputable uh, Rolex dealer among other uh, fine watches as well, but they specialize in Rolex. They're in Newport Beach, California. I highly recommend them. Anyway, uh, this has the, um, the gold bezel, 14 karat gold bezel with this particular watch with a champagne dial uh, with a linen dial. If you get a little closer and watch, you can see the linen configuration um, on the dial itself, which is pretty rare. Uh, there was a small percentage of the Rolex watches that had a linen, um, that fabric linen looking dial. So this date just has the, the, um, uh, the 15, uh, which movement was this? Um, the 1570 movement, uh, caliber movement, which is an automatic movement. However, it doesn't have the quick set uh, for the date. Uh, that came in, I believe it was 1977, and somebody watching this video can maybe correct me on that, but that was a model uh, had the, that had the caliber 3035. The exact same looking watch, just with a slightly different caliber of movement, that 3035, which gave it a second pullout on the crown, which gave you the ability to move the date wheel rather than cycling through every 24 hour period to go up a date. So that can be a little bit um, uh, frustrating for people to do that. For me, it really didn't matter. The price of the watch is roughly about eight to not, $800 to $1,000 more for that simple feature. And you essentially get the same watch with, 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 this, um, with this movement. This came, came with a leather aftermarket uh, band, nice band with the Bob's Watches uh, buckle on it. So I also want to mention, you know, the, the Cyclops that's on these watches, since this is a date just, all the Rolex watches will have a Cyclops. And that Cyclops is mounted on the crystal right here. And it's a two, I believe it's a two and a half times magnification. So even the watches, you know, call it a, call it a, a medium sized watch. Again, small, maybe in today's standard, smaller on the smaller side in today's standards is still considered kind of a, the first entry level modern size. And you can clearly see the, the date in there um, very, very, very well. One other thing to mention too, uh, we'll have another follow-up conversation about what to look for in the Rolex timepieces and specifically Rolex timepieces to tell whether you're looking at a genuine uh, a Rolex or something that might be perhaps a fake. There are a number of things that you can do um, in with inspecting them with a loop. I won't get into it today, but a loop being you know a 10X jeweler's loop uh, it's amazing what you can see and find with it with a jeweler's loop. Uh, so, yep, beautiful watch. Super excited, happy to, ha to have it in my my collection, and uh, uh, highly recommend Bob's as well. So that kind of sums up the uh, our conversation re relative to the 1601 Rolex Datejust. Uh, a couple other things I wanted to mention about these watches. Um, this watch is of 1971 vintage, and the. Uh, dot, or I should say crystals on all these watches are an acrylic or a plastic crystal. Nowadays, in the modern watches from like 1985 on, they went into the uh, a sapphire, um, sapphire type crystal. Now, I guess there are some pros and cons. One of the pros is if you did have some scratches or scuffs on this acrylic, this acrylic crystal, you can actually polish that out. If you have uh, a, a sapphire crystal and you scratch it, a lot of times they'll crack or fracture and you can't, you can't fix them. You'd have to replace the crystal. So a really good clean, and we can get a good close-up shot of this crystal. Um, a good clean crystal looks just like a sapphire mineral crystal that would be used, say, nowadays. Um, and then there are also some products that you can get to, if you do get any scuffs or little scratches on your, 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 uh, your acrylic crystal, that you can, uh, you can uh, repair it kind of with yourself, unless the scratches are too deep. Uh, then maybe it needs to be buffed. Additionally, when it comes to replacing these, they're not even really, now for a 71 like this, they may not even make a Rolex crystal for this. However, there are a number of very high quality aftermarket crystals that can be used and they're relatively inexpensive. I think the crystals themselves can run somewhere around $20, $25 and any watchmaker can, can apply that for you. So beautiful all around watch. Again, once again, just sum up the champagne dial with the, with the linen textured background and um, the um, uh, nice crown uh, with the Rolex signature, signed Rolex there, uh, with the stainless steel uh, case and case back. And um, you definitely would consider one of these iconic, uh, iconic timepieces for your collection if you don't already own one. And thanks to Bob's, Bob's watches, um, 
really sent me a brilliant, beautiful watch. Just opened it today, as you saw, and uh, yeah, great, beautiful watch. I'm really happy.